let's go. Good morning. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Good afternoon, all today with some gratitude, thanking the Lord for all the blessings that we receive and thanking him for another beautiful day. So let's go, people. It's Take Action Tuesday, and today is about relationships. Man, I tell you, I listened to a video this morning, and it was Les Brown, and some of you guys know what I want to say, and some of you guys don't, but Les Brown is one of the most incredible inspirational speakers, and if you don't know who Les Brown is, please Google him. <laughs> please look him up on YouTube, and there was a video called Be Different, and I know a lot of times in life we want to be the same. We want to fit in, right? We want to be in the circle of uh, of trust with people, if that's a, if that's such a thing. And it's 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 very important to remember that all of us are unique. We all have gifts and talents that we were given at birth that are unique to you, and we all have those responsibilities to bring those gifts and talents to life. However. When we get into society and we grow up as a child, right? You know, looking at my 12 year old, soon to be 13 and my seven year old, I'm noticing the way that we interact and socialize nowadays is a lot different than we used to, right? With technology and things, we can communicate a lot differently. Um, and, and it allows for us to also adopt new habits, um, things that we really didn't know how to deal with before. And so I wanna bring us back to relationships. And our top five, like the people that we surround ourselves with on an everyday basis, people we conversate with, people that are in our life, not people that are around our life, but in our life. I want to ask you a question. What are those relationships doing for you? Are they giving you constructive criticism and they're moving you in a direction that's growth driven? Or are they toxic and where they're taking stuff so much from you that there's more withdrawals than deposits. The question that I ask is, what is that relationship doing for you? Is because that's what Les Brown talks about. And he says that loyalty has an expiration date. He says, unfortunately, those who are nice, those who are forgiving, forgive a little too much, and they allow for toxic environments and toxic people to stick around too long. And it's not a personal thing. It's really, uh, it's an individual growth and development thing because like I said in the beginning of this speech, I said that all of us are responsible for, responsible for gifts and talents at birth, right? They were given to you and only you and it's your job to bring them to fruition. However, if you allow toxic environments or things that distract you, you will soon forget what it was that you were born for. And so have confidence today. Step into your greatness these are things that we must work on every single day and being aware of what's going on in and out of our life. The people that we're talking to, the people that we're allowing to influence us. And the same goes for our children. As we're, as we're parents, we must continue to observe where our kids are going, who they're talking with, who are they listening to. Because just like adults, if we allow ourselves to get distracted, we will soon forget the gifts and talents that we were given and we will let go of that accountability and allowing ourselves to become the best version of ourselves. All right? So let's go, people. Take action Tuesday. Let's turn it up. Let's make it happen. I love you guys. And it is so good to be back. I love y'all. Talk to y'all soon. Peace.